sorry about me looking like a mess and stuff but I thought that I would do a review on Pretty Little Waxy's Halloween box. I pre-ordered it a couple of months ago I think and last year's box was amazing. I mean I never did a review on last year's box um, but there's a lady on YouTube called Gemma Travelon I think and she did one on last year's box and it was really really good so I thought I would do one on this year's box um, as you can see there's the box it's unopened um, I'm going to open it now and then we'll get cracking right so I've just opened well I've not looked inside the box but I've just like scored it with some scissors um, so I've not seen anything in the box yet. It is exactly, you're just going to see me as I'm opening it. Um, so, yeah. Let's turn the camera that way. So I'm opening it here. Oh, wow. A little sticker on here that says double double toil and trouble fire burn and cauldron bubble how sweet is that that's really cute and i like how it's got this tissue paper on and the little bow i mean she always puts so much effort into her boxes um they've all been fantastic what i've received um how i'll try do this in a way where i can put my phone somewhere so as you can kind of see me and see me opening and looking at the products. Right, I've kind of managed to put the camera in a position where I can see a bit better. So I'm going to undo this. Oh, I hate ripping the paper. And just to make you aware as well, not very well today. Um, I think I've got to slice it. Oh, that is so cute. I don't know if you can see that. But look how pretty that is. So one of the items just kind of fell out the box. Sorry about that. I'm not very professional with this recording stuff and that, but I thought it's better for me to record it rather than just putting pictures on and things. But that is so cute. There's like, there's like this, um, Shredded paper and like cobweb stuff and all little decorations and spiders. Oh, it's so nice. Oh, and a little bag of rainbow drops. So I think I ordered a couple of extra products with these that were off the website that weren't part of the Halloween box, but I'll show them anyway. Um, I had some, is it Rainbow Bright in Brittle? And oh, it smells so, so good. So when I saw that she was doing pots on the website, I just had to order one. Um, so that's what it looks like in the pots. And I'll just open it up now. These pots are really good. Um, they're easy for storage. And these are quite thick ones as well. So... That smells so, so good. It's like a very slight hint of like something clean, but very fruity, like sweet. I can't put my finger on what it exactly smells like, but it does smell very sweety. And this is what it looks like. If I take it out. See that? Look how pretty it is. So pretty. Oh, can't wait to melt some of that because I had to buy some more because my problem with Louise's wax, loose wax is that if I've only got one of a product that I like, I won't, I just can't bring myself to melt it. So when I get like duplicates of something, then I can actually melt one. And then we have, ooh. This looks really nice. A cackle in the cauldron. Um, 
So that's what the label's like on the front. And as you can see, it's got the correct CLP labeling. And I'll just open this up so as you can get that view. And obviously, the sniff test. nice I can't put my finger on what it is but it's kind of a clean fresh scent with a very slight undertone of fruit but look at that look how amazing that is with the little bones and the little eye and the glitter that is so well done, it is so nice. The effort that she must have put into these products to do these is amazing. I would say it's more of a medium throw, but while I'm saying that, there is a lot of melts that don't smell overly strong on cold sniff, but then when you melt them, they're like amazing. Um, and this was made in September, so it's only been curing for less than a month. So I might give it, you know, a couple more weeks to cure yet. And then we have a little list here. Which is Mystery Halloween Box 2017. It's like the scent description, so if you can find this, what's this one called? Cackle in the cauldron. <clears throat> oh, chocolate orchid. Reminiscent of true chocolate orchids, which smell like a fresh floral with undertones of real chocolate. I don't think I was getting the chocolate in there, but I could definitely smell, it's, to me, like I said, it smelled slightly fruity and clean. Maybe the cleanness was the floral in it, but I couldn't smell the chocolate. Maybe when I'm melting it, but wow, look at this little body bag. Isn't it that cute? When witches go round and the black cats are seen, the moon laughs and whispers, it's near Halloween. Oh, that's awesome. That is brilliant. Let's have a look at the first product. The Exorcism of Granny Smith. Um, if we can find it on here. Fluffy pink candy, a blend of juicy bubblegum, cotton candy, juicy apples and pear blended together with sugar candy lemon drops. Green apple explosion, a massive in your face apple blast, fizzy and zingy. Um, this was made on the 9th of the 10th apparently, so this one was only made this week. I mean, here it is in the packaging. And then there's like four little cubes of these, if you can see that. And then on the underside, another little store, but ever so cute. I can definitely smell the apple in there. Definitely. And the pear. But I can't, maybe a slight bubble gum, but I can't smell the sugar candy. But again, I would say it smells like a medium throw on cold sniff, but this has only literally been made in the last few days. So that might need more time to cure yet. But they're so pretty, all these products are. Oh, the devil sent in me. Look how gorgeous that is. And frosted pumpkin beginning with top notes of citrusy lemon leading to middle notes of creamy pumpkin and hints of nutmeg and ginger. Sitting on base notes of maple sugar and vanilla frosting. Cinnamon donut, the rich aroma of fresh crushed cinnamon bark with base notes of bakery yellow cake with creamy buttery undertones. Ooh. Yes, I'm definitely picking up on the cinnamon. Strong cinnamon smell. But that's all I can smell. 
I think the cinnamon definitely overpowers all the other smells in this. But oh my goodness, look, just look at that. How beautiful that is. It's absolutely gorgeous. I mean, all her products are so well done. I mean, they're outstanding for presentation. I would say that's medium to strong. Again, like I said, by the look of the poor dates on these, a lot of them have only recently been made, so they will need more time to cure. I've noticed leave them for about a month and they smell amazingly strong. 31st Spook Street. Oh, wow. Just look at that. Um, strong and true to its name, black licorice, pina colada, a tropical combination of sweet pineapple and coconut. And this was, again, um, made at the end of September, so it's not long been drawn. Oh, I definitely got the coconut in that. And the licorice. And yeah, I can smell the pineapple underneath and then on top I get sort of the very slight, like an undertone of licorice, but the coconut's very strong in it. But oh, just look at that. It's absolutely amazing. All these products are so well done. I, I can't praise her up enough for how well presented these products are. A very nice one, that. That'll be something I'll enjoy melting in the winter, I think, if I actually will. Halloween Howlers. So this one, opium, reminiscent of a popular lady's perfume. That's what it looks like in the packet um if i know where to undo it if i can undo it my hands are a little bit oily now so i'm touching the other mouth oh very musky perfume that personally it's not something i like but if you like deep musky smells, you will love these. And look at that. Don't know if it's picking that up okay, but wow. It's very strong for him. I think I might have to give that one a miss myself because I don't like deep musky smells but like I said if you're into them sort of smells then you'll absolutely love this and it smells really strong on cold sniff. Um, next one, Gothic Glam, where's this one? <clears throat> Black Lonely and Amber, unique and very sexy beginning with top notes of fresh cotton and crisp O's Sonic tones followed by middle notes of white blossom, base notes of cashmere, amber and musk. Oh, that smells really nice. And that's what this looks like in the packet. Just look at that. How beautiful that is. Oh, I love this one. Very nice. It is again like another perfumey, possibly like or a bath bomb type scent, but it's very nice, not overpowering in your face. Just something nice to, I'd say this would be a good one to melt in a bedroom. You can see that, look at it. It's got like a fluorescent pink on the top, which I don't think the camera's picking up and then black pumpkin. Oh, that's gorgeous. I need to start bringing myself to actually melting some more of the products before they start losing throw. Next one. Hannibal the Sweet Tooth Cannibal. I'm loving these names that she's coming up with these. Jelly bean, a burst of luscious fruity tones teasing the senses while cherry balances with ripe peach and tangy strawberry for the candy sensation at the fragrance heart. 
and it also has sour watermelon and the aroma of sweet and sour mandarin oranges, pineapples and wild watermelon. I think I really like this one. I love fruity scents. If you know me then I absolutely love them. Can't get enough of them. And this is what it looks like in the packet. Oh yes, definitely a jelly bean. Do you know what I'm picking up on? Slight tones of a bit like um, Bakewell tarts. It smells very much like Bakewell tarts. Oh, that's lovely. I mean, just look at it. Isn't that beautiful? That's the back side. They're so, so well done. I mean, <laughs> The only reason I cannot bring myself to burn half of these products is just because they look so pretty and I just don't want to melt them. But yeah, that one is really nice. If you like your bakery or fruity smells, you'll really like that one. Next one, Fright Night Candy Bite. Raspberry lemonade, a mouth-watering combination of ice-cold lemonade, sweet juicy raspberries with a unique twist of lavender and white musk, also mixed with rainbow sherbet, a gorgeous aroma of fresh lime, pineapple orange and raspberry with creamy base mix of vanilla. Now this is what it looks like in the packet. I think I'll like this one as well. Oh yes, definitely picking up on the rainbow sherbet in there. And the lemonade. Oh, that is absolutely gorgeous. Can you see that? With the little skull. And it's all pretty and then underneath it's like red. And that's absolutely gorgeous. Oh, if you like sweet scents and um, fruit scents, you will. This one is amazing, absolutely amazing. And then we have Ghouls Just Wanna Have Fun. I'm really loving these names, I am. Pink sugar, a fruity blend of cotton candy, lemon drops, caramel and raspberry jam on a dry down of musks. Fairy dust, a rich fruity floral signature, balance is night, blooming jasmine with fresh cassis, while hints of ozone create a shimmering effect. And this is what looks like in the packet. I, I think it's like um, a spider, maybe. Oh, that's lovely. So light, let me look at the pour date, yeah. It smells like a very light scent, but after curing, I think it will be much stronger. Oh, that is beautiful. I'm definitely picking up on the fairy dust in there. And then undertones of sweetness. Yeah, I would say this is a spider. Oh, it is so, so well done and beautiful. I mean, just look at that. I mean, the effort that's been put into these products is absolutely amazing. Look how it shimmers. So we'll put that back. Definitely 10 out of 10 for presentation on these. She's done ever such a good job. And then there's one last product now in the bag. Children of the Candy Corn. So where's this one? Candy Corn, a warm vanilla candy with top notes of butter with a slight down of almond. And it comes in another one of these pots. They're quite big pots. They're not small. They're really big and there's some weight in them as well. So you definitely get a lot. Oh, I don't know if you can see that. A little little bats. I'm not sure whether I'm supposed to remove these decorations or not while melting. They are just loosely sprinkled on so I think I'll just you know 
wipe them off before I melt um, just in case but as you can see it's triple layered with the yellow, the orange and the white just like candy corn. Yeah, I could definitely pick up on the vanilla. It smells very much like a strong vanilla smell. Sly undertone of butter. I'm not really picking up on the almond, but I might do when I melt it, but definitely very vanilla-y. So that's the last product. So how many products have we got? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Obviously this 11th one isn't part of the Halloween box, so that's just what I bought separate, but you get ten products in this Halloween box and they're all really good sizes. Um, I'm trying to think how much it was now. I think it was like 20 something pounds. I don't know if it was 25 or 30 pounds, including delivery. I think it was a 30 pound box possibly. Don't quote me on that. I don't know. You'd have to check yourself. I'm, I've got a terrible memory. But definitely, I mean, even though there is only 10 products in here, they, they, they're, so, they're so beautifully done and there's so much to them. It's definitely, you definitely get your money's worth here. I mean, there must be more than £30 worth of wax there for the, just the sheer size of the products. But absolutely fantastic. Would I recommend this company to somebody else? Yes, I would, most definitely. And what is my overall rating? I would give it at the moment an 8 out of 10 just because of the throw on cold sniff isn't overly strong. But they might need more time to cure. I would say after another couple of weeks of curing, the scent will be really strong in them. And I've noticed with a lot of the products, they smell much, much stronger when melting than what they do on cold sniff. Um, as I said, I would definitely recommend this company to other people. I will just say now as well, she does use a paraffin soy blend as far as I know. So if you can't use paraffin, which some people can't, I mean, it does make my chest bad. If I use it too much, then obviously these products wouldn't be best for you. But if you're fine with paraffin, um, then these I would highly recommend and because they're made with the soy blend as well it makes them more soft so they're easy to cut and to get out your burners after so yeah that's my review on pretty little wax and if I have any more boxes of any people in the future then I will do another review so bye for now